Applied Software Advanced MEP Fabrication Series. Spooling from the Fab Viewer. This advanced topic lesson is applicable to Autodesk Fabrication CAD MEP. The Fab Viewer is a versatile feature of the Autodesk Fabrication products. Along with service validation, printing layout sheets, and advanced clash detection, the Fab Viewer can create spool drawings. Start Fabrication CAD MEP and select the Imperial Content configuration. Open Fab Viewer Spooling.dwg from the Exercise folder. We'll start by opening up our Fab Viewer Spooling drawing. Next, select all of our items and open up the Fab Viewer by clicking on the last button in the View Utilities. Next, we'll turn on some toolbars we're going to need during the spooling process by right-clicking in our drawing area, hovering over Tools, and selecting Render Mode, Snap Mode, Commands, and Dimensions. Next, we'll define our spools by clicking on the Define Create Spools button. giving your spool a name, and then clicking the Define Spools. Select items for our first spool, hit Enter. Select the items for the second spool, and hit Enter. And one last Enter to finish the command. Next, we'll launch the Define Create Spools again. And now we're going to create these spools. Start by modifying some of the settings, setting the edge margin for our dimensions to 8, clicking on Show Numbers, setting them to 8 also, selecting our Define Statuses, and changing that to Issued for Manufacture. Next, we'll set our spool template we're going to choose Spool Layout. And then click Create Spools. It'll have a list of spools for us to choose from. We're going to select both Spool 1 and Spool 2. Click OK. And along the bottom of our viewer, you can see it added some new tabs. In our spool, we have two camera views, plan and isometric. We're going to set each of those up. I'll select plan view and click on select mode. So I can move some of these dimensions and numbers around as needed. So we'll set that into, into the view that I want. And we, can, and we can even change how it's going to look on the spool sheet. Come in here and add some dimensions. Hide any dimensions that you don't want. Move some tags around. Just clean the drawing up. Once you have both your views looking the way you want, then we can print. Right click in our drawing area and select Print Preview. We're going to select our generic worksheet spool and click on OK. Now, the first thing I notice on our spool sheet is that we're missing our bill of materials. Let's fix that. And then I'll leave the rest of the changes to the layout sheet. To You may want to refer to the video on layout sheets for additional changes to the spool te template. I'll click on Exit. I'm going to type LOS for layout sheet. 
select our generic worksheet spool. And here's our report that wasn't reporting out. Right click on prop right click and select properties and select spool as our report name. Click on OK. And then OK. And right click print preview that again. So now our report came in. We can see that it needs to, we need to make some edits to it probably change the font and make it fit. And that's all there is to spooling.